It's called online dating, and with a simple click of a mouse or touch of an iPad, millions of people are logging on in hopes to find true love. Hello there, I'm Nick Novax, President and CEO of Above the Rest Dating Service. Back in 2015, our members were asked to submit personal videos of themselves in order to win a live profile page which would be viewed on our website. Well, after hundreds of hours of footage and hundreds of videos reviewed, only one remains. Now, before we announce our lucky winner, let's have a look at what you might see just by clicking a thumbnail. My name is John Nako. I've decided to get back into the dating game after a uh, few years of being single. I am six feet five. 280 pounds. I am built like an NFL linebacker. I am also a professional dog walker. I do not want children and I like to drink. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, John Nako, the winner of our competition. Over here, buddy. <laughs> there you go. You all right there, John? How you doing? Good. 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 That's awesome. How was your flight in? Good. Good. That's great. Now, before I get started here, I just have to know, with your size and your strength, professional dog walking? I don't really see a professional dog walker. Please tell me, how did you get into that? Well, I was walking down the street the one day and I saw mm -hmm. this uh, person walking a bunch of uh, bunch, bunch of dogs and, and they, they did not- Were they stray dogs? No, they had, they had everything, they had the tags on and all that. Spayed and neutered? You have to control the pet population, right? Hmm? 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 <laughs> because I just can't see it. Yeah, I don't look in the dictionary under professional dog walker and see John Nako. This is good. This is good. This is why we're here. It gets a chance to know you. I want to get to know you better. I want to, I want to sit down with you. I want to get to know the John behind the John. So I want to do an in-depth interview to find out who you really are and find out the most in-depth detail about you. So let's do this, okay? What's your favorite color? Red. 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 <clears throat> John Nako likes red. Because color's important, right? I mean, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong here. I mean, if your girlfriend buys you a sweater and, and it's blue and you hate blue, you, I mean, you're, you're just gonna throw it in her face. You know, kids nowadays in the wintertime would kill for a blue sweater, but they can't keep warm because you threw it away. Which brings me to my next question. Why do you hate children? Uh, kids are brats these days. They, they whine and cry and stomp their feet about everything. There's no discipline. Um, everybody's in your business. If you want to discipline your child, they'll, they'll call the cops and say you're beating your kids when you're just really disciplining them. You believe in hitting your kids? Absolutely. So you think that's acceptable behavior? How are you going to know between the right and wrong? Do you believe in Bigfoot? Bigfoot. No, I don't believe in Bigfoot, but I do believe that there are people that live in the woods that look like Bigfoot. Sounds to me like you don't like Indians. Is that true? Are you against Indians? <laughs> we went from Bigfoot to Indians. Uh, I was, Indians no. didn't even have money. <laughs> Indians traded rocks. Let me I'm, ask you a question. What are you trying to paint me out, out to as to be? Like what, how, if, if, if I'm at home watching this interview, I would never, if I was a woman, I would never want to go out with this guy. Would I be wrong to say that John Nako would be totally against a participation trophy for no. all the children? When all the children involved have the same trophy? No. A participation trophy where everybody gets a trophy. Every kid leaves home, leaves the game, wherever they're at, happy. Why? They have a trophy. Because children need, need to learn the difference between winners and losers. And you, and you cannot be a winner until you've been a loser. Are you a drug dealer? No. If you lose at something and you want to be a winner, you're going to work twice as hard to be a winner. So you're not the loser. Who are you, Joe Paterno? Who is your role model? <sighs> Vladimir Putin. Come again? 
Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. He's the German dictator. Don't disrespect the Russian president like that. His name's Putin. Putin? You, the, the Russian, you, you mean the, the Red Army? No. The, the leader of the Red Army? No. The Russian president of Russia. The country Russia? The Soviet Union. No, there was no Soviet Union. Putin. 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 Do you like playing games? Sure. I'm going to shout out a random phrase or, or an ideology, and I want you to tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Mucinex. 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 Mucus. Mucus. You can't have mucus on a date with a woman if you're out to the movies because you're sneezing and coughing in the popcorn. Popcorn's getting in her hair. You know, you're picking it out. and it, That doesn't make for a good date, now does it? Mucinex. I like, you like the Mucinex. And let's go to your video clip that you submitted and you were the lucky winner, by the way. Congratulations on that, John Nako. You're the lucky winner. Ooh, what a handshake on you guy. Oh my. So you like to drink. How many times a week do you drink? Every day. So you're an alcoholic. No, but I enjoy drinking. It doesn't, it doesn't overtake my life. Let's touch on your dancing a little bit. Since you're clearly an alcoholic, I'm going to make a joke with you. I bet your favorite song is My Drink and My Two Step. First of all, I'm not an alcoholic. Are you afraid of empowering women? No. Before we finish up here, tell me your story. I want to know who ripped your heart out of your chest. I want to know who sucked you dry and who made you the way you are. We would go our separate ways for a month, a few mm -hmm. months or two, and then I would just take her back. She, she, would, she would just weasel her way back in, and I, I could never... I remember that weasel part. I like that. Go ahead. I could never, I could never say, no, you're done for good, but... I've had my heart ripped out of my chest, so I'm, I... Well, I'm actually glad you brought that up. Calling a woman Jody Arias, you're basically saying that all women are like uh, the Dahmers, the Bundys, the, the Gacy's, uh, and that's, that's not cool, dude. This interview, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be uh, highlighting my, my, my strengths to make, right. to make me more eligible. Yeah, go... Uh, 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 Go in a little bit more of a detail. Uh, she stabbed me with a pen. Uh, she was crazy. Yeah. Are you crazy? No. You, you're a, you hate women. You hate children. No, you abuse animals and kids. That is completely false. I love women. You do? Yes. But I will continue to be a womanizer until I meet the right one. A, a womanizer? Yeah. So You know womanizer, the Britney Spears song? Yeah. There's something off about you. You have to realize the woman is a beautiful thing, man. That they're really a beautiful, a beautiful thing. And it's guys like you that'll make us lose the chance to vote. Do you know the moral of this story? Yeah. What? You're a selfish man. No, because you're not asking the right question. Because you're showing your true color. You need God and you need church and you need to just, 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 yeah, uh, just leave not, because I, I really want to go there's down. something wrong hold with on, you. On, you. On. How are you portraying such an innocent man on film, but you come here and you are a complete barbarian? I, 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 I don't even want you to go there. It's I want you waste. to leave. It's a waste of time. I want you to leave. You want, you want me to leave? You're kicking me out. You're kicking me off this interview. Yes, I am kicking. Listen, I've seen you. I've met you. You're obviously not the same person. It, it, in person, you obviously have some issues to you. John, I would really like well, wait, to leave. Well, what's, well, what, what's wrong with that? And you're off the website. I'm kicked off your website? Are you fucking serious? Huh? You fucking creep. Fuck you and your fucking website. Oh, I'm an alcoholic? Oh, well, I'm taking this fucking rosé with me then, too. See you later, bitch. And there you have it, folks. John Nako, our winner of the competition. And as you can see, he clearly has a drinking problem.